9 a.m. And a pleasure to have in studio with us Justin Wilkinson. He is current factory manager at Nelsley's Farina Clinton location. And Justin, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Morning. You were telling me you're kind of a local guy. You're from DeWitt. Yep. Grew up in DeWitt. Graduated in DeWitt in 2002. So how'd you end up with Nestle Purina? Yeah, sure. I went to, went to school at Iowa State, uh, got an engineering degree, and uh, recruited out of there. Started in the Davenport factory, and 16 years later, uh, made my way back home. Nestle Purina, I was just out in Fort Dodge covering the state softball tournament. They've got a nice facility out there in Fort Dodge. Yeah, they got one in Fort Dodge, uh, Davenport, and here in Clinton, and uh, facilities throughout the throughout the country. We continue to expand. Uh, we're about $2 billion of investment here to continue to improve manufacturing and, and make the pet food that people love here in, in the United States. You were telling me that uh, you've been doing some traveling since you've been a part of Nestle <laughs> Purina. Yes, yep. Uh, 16 years, and uh, this is my, my eighth location, so I uh, got to experience uh, uh, pet food out in New York area, uh, did, a, did a stint in Oklahoma City, uh, made cat litter down in the, the boot hill of, Saint, of uh, Missouri, uh, came here to St. Louis for a little bit, uh, and then uh, did a stint down in Texas, and most recent before this one was up in Wisconsin. So a little bit of movement and a lot of different, uh, different opportunities within the manufacturing, but it's been a fun, fun journey to see and continue to grow with the company. Yeah, you've seen a lot of the United States, no <laughs> doubt about yeah. that. So yeah. close to home now, do you think yeah. maybe you're going to be staying here for a while that that's always the goal yeah i like it here i like i know the area very well and and know the people and and really know and, and appreciate the work ethic of the midwest again visiting with justin wilkinson factory managers so tell us a little bit about your job sure yeah so uh you know we, we're a, a 564 employees uh we work uh, pretty much 24 7 uh, 365 uh, so day in and day out is is really responsible for safety number one, keeping our team safe, uh, making sure the team trusts that we we got them and we can keep them safe. So how do we improve safety daily, and then produce quality product? And uh, we're we're about 300,000 tons of of uh, dry pet and uh, dry cat and dog food that we pr produce out of there in a year. Uh, so it's uh, continuing to try to improve that and can keep the quality high and, and service the uh, service the customers that uh, is buying the product we have. We also do treats there, so we have all the begging strips. We're about 90% of the country's begging strips. So uh, daily looking at how we can continue to improve for our team and, and improve for the consumer. Just remarkable right here in the city of Clinton putting out something like that. Yeah. And, of course, you give back to the community as well. Talk about that aspect. Yeah, absolutely. So we have we have many, many ways we do that we have donations we're, we're a close partner with the clinton humane society uh we continue to donate time and and also product uh to them and, and many other com uh, community uh, and county uh, humane societies and programs so whiteside county i know we also partner with the canine units and and make sure we help feed them uh we we continue to look for opportunities to uh donate uh, pet food and, and 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 time and energy and money to different uh, pets and people products uh, for the area and uh, find many, many ways to do those. And most recently was the, the prevention, suicide and Comanche. We were able through a grant fund uh, to supply them with some, some funding to continue to help, uh, help that from, uh, for the region. How important is it a factory like Nestle Perina to give back to the community. It, it is critical. I mean, that that is really at the heart of who we are. Is it's for our people, and and pets are an extension of of every person, and and that's really what we believe. And and so you know, we we would try to give back to to the community to to make sure that that uh, we're we're doing our part and continue to to help with with people and and pets being part of the passion that we have. Of course, Clinton Community College just recently added the Career Advancement Center. That's been Nestle great. Nestle Perina been a part of how that is going? Yeah, absolutely. We've been partnering with them, and, and we've got an internship program through them. It's uh, it's uh, through our maintenance department, and uh, we, we send people there for three days a week. They work for us two days a week, and a lot of good opportunities to get in the door, specifically on the maintenance and technical side. We continue to try to find ways as uh, – as, as it's a competitive workforce to develop the, the internal and, and find external uh, piece, people that can help us on the maintenance side of it. So um, project opportunity is what we call that, and, and it's an opportunity for us to pay for that schooling as well as come and make some money with, uh, with us and, uh, and, and contribute and actually put those skills to practice uh, during the week. Uh, so it's a great program, and I love what they've done with the, with the expansion there at Clinton Community and, and looking forward to uh, seeing that expand in, in DeWitt. And I, I haven't made it up to that one yet, but the, the DeWitt, and I yeah. know Makoka is next. So um, yeah. really great program and, and great partnership with them and, and the Grow Clinton team uh, really 
really appreciate them them uh, helping us many parts of the ways uh, to partner and, and help us continue to grow. Well, speaking of expansions, you just recently completed <laughs> a $156 million expansion project. How did that all come about? Yeah, so, uh, you know, during COVID, uh, a lot of people were home, and I think we saw a big uptick of pantry filling, and we, we also saw a big uptick on on understanding the care for oneself on, on the health side. And with being home with the pet, people started realizing that, you know, the pet and the science behind the pet food is also important. So uh, one of the, the big piece we do is the high science diets here in the Clinton facility, and we needed more. So how do we keep up with the demand here in the United States? The expansion came from that, and so we kicked it off. And planning was 2018, 2019. Uh, really started construction 2020, and we wrapped it up here in uh, 2022 with a grand opening in October. We'd been running it uh, starting the end of 2021. Um, so it was it was really about demand for the high science diets and, and the continued growth the business sees, and and really a trust in the team here and the community in Clinton that uh, can provide the the high skilled labor that we need to to safely produce that product. So it was a, a win for the community and a win for Purina. Again, visiting with Justin Wilkinson, of course, people drive by Manufacturing Drive, they see Nestle Purina. But behind that, I mean, you folks have got a lot of property. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. We're working on, uh, on further expansion. We are uh, putting up uh, automated storage retrieval systems. So we'll start to see another uh, about 130 foot tall building starting here. Uh, hopefully into August is the time frame. We've, we've been putting a lot of dirt work back there and, and pouring concrete. And um, there'll be another another big expansion for us to continue to, to evolve, uh, evolve here in Clinton. So important for our community have been born and raised in Clinton. I know the importance of the industry in the area, not only Nestle Purina, but of course, ADM prior to that it was Clinton Corn, DuPont now Kleisar, Lyondell Bissell. I mean it's it's so important. Again, appreciate your time. Before we let you go, one thing that I found kind of interesting was the technical training center that you have there. Talk about yeah. that. That was part of that $156 million expansion. And, and again, as we, we looked at all the people we needed, we added about 200 people since 2020. Mm -hmm. And uh, and pet food's not something you learn in school, right? So it's something we need to teach. And so with that, we looked and said, how do we teach this? And we put a technical training center in. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's still working on adding more experiential training pieces. So hands-on, how do you do these things? Uh, today, it's a nice open area for us to come and do trainings on iPad. When you and I go to look to do things, I pull up YouTube. And, and this is a YouTube for manufacturing. So we make our own videos on how do you make pet food. And it gives the time for our team to go in and use that facility to go learn how to make pet food. And, and as we onboard new people, how do we do it safely, understand the quality impacts, and, and continue to improve the area. So it's really a nice space, uh, really nicely managed by by Amber Detterman and the team there. And, and they do a great job uh, teaching our team how to get better every day on, on manufacturing pet food. Say hi to Amber for me, will you? Will do. All right, very good. <laughs> now, uh, if people would like to find out more information, and again, thank you so much for coming in. How can they do that about the Clintons, Nestle Purina? Sure. So we have PurinaCareers.com, and that's a place to go apply um, if you're looking to apply. Um, also, you know, just search search Purina. We're around, and, and we, again, have 564 employees. So I'm sure you know somebody that, that works for us or works with us and a, a happy team member for us. So, um, But PurinaCareers.com is where you can go to, to find more about uh, career opportunities that we got. Okay, so you're heading right back to the factory now? Yep, got to go see how it's going. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. It's a bird. It's a bird. It's the, the, the Dan Patrick Show. Dan Patrick. Yeah. And then you had Messi making his debut for oh. Inter-Miami. I like how the announcers were making it seem like...